Before watching this video, please make sure that you watch our tutorial videos in inequalities and interval notation. And of course, our problem number one in solving quadratic equation because this is the answer key of our given problem at the end of that video. Our problem is x squared minus 2x minus 15 is greater than or equal to 0. Our first step, we need to factor our trinomial. So our factors are um, factors of negative 15 wherein the sum is negative 2. So that is negative 5 and positive 3. Negative 5 times neg positive 3, that is negative 15. Negative 5 plus positive 3, that is negative 2. Second step, find the zeros of the quadratic inequality. So our zeros are, just equate to 0, x plus 3 is equal to 0. So x is equal to positive 5, and x is equal to negative 3. So this will be our zeros. Take note, that is not yet our final answer. Now, using our number line, locate positive 5 and negative 3. This is our number line, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. So positive 5 and negative 3. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Okay. Then negative 4, negative 5, and so on. And let us check whether the right, the left side of negative 3 satisfies our inequality or not. So, pick a number on the left side of negative 3. Negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, it's up to you. Uh, let us choose negative 5. Copy the factors. x minus 5, so my x is negative 5 minus 5 times x is negative 5 plus 3 greater than or equal to 0. Let us check if this negative 5 satisfies our inequality. Negative 5 minus 5, this is negative 10. Negative 5 plus 3, that is negative 2. Greater than or equal to 0. Negative 10 times negative 2, this is 20, positive 20, greater than or equal to 0. Is 20 greater than 0? Yes, that means this is true. Okay. Next. Now, let us choose between the following numbers. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4 to check whether it satisfies our inequality. Let us pick the easiest one, the zero. So change x to zero. Zero minus five. Zero plus three, greater than or equal to zero. Zero minus five, this is negative five. Zero plus three, positive three, greater than or equal to zero. Negative 5 times positive 3, negative 15, greater than or equal to 0. True or false? Negative 15 is less than 0, so this is false. That means the following numbers does not satisfy our inequality. Okay, let us... 
nagla like those numbers. Now, let us try the numbers on the right side of positive 5. Okay. Choose 6, positive 6, positive 7, positive 8, positive 9, positive 10. It's up to you. But I will pick the smallest one, the 6. So x will be 6. So 6 minus 5. 6 plus 3 greater than or equal to 0. 6 minus 5, that is 1. 6 plus 3, that is 9. Greater than or equal to 0. 1 times 9, that is positive 9. Greater than or equal to 0. True or false? Uh, this is true. So that means our interval notation, our final answer is this is true. We're going to negative infinity. So open to negative infinity. Then negative 3. That means we have equal to negative 3. Open or close. So negative 3 is included because we have the equal sign. So we're going to Union, 5. 5 is also included. 5 to positive infinity. This is now our final answer in our quadratic inequality. Again, please make sure that you watch our tutorial videos in inequalities and interval notation. And of course, our problem number one in solving quadratic inequalities to better understand this problem. Once again, thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV and please um, share to your classmates. Try to scan your module handbook or search on the internet to find more problems regarding solving quadratic inequalities. Please don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your classmates.